Today, we'll be explaining all Straw Hat Pirates in One Piece. There's a total of 11 interesting characters to cover, and we'll begin with everyone's favorite captain, Monkey D. Luffy. As captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Luffy has the greatest authority over an increasingly powerful and diverse crew consisting of several infamous members, many of whom are extremely powerful in their own right. Luffy has a great amount of influence over his crew, so much so that the members of his crew all trust him with their lives, both in spite of his reckless behavior and, in some cases, even because of it. He's also one of the 12 pirates who've been dubbed as the Worst Generation, a group of individuals who have become famous for the bold actions and major conflicts they committed against the world government, and all have bounties of over 100 million bellies. Just quickly before we continue, if you guys are anime and manga fans, I'd like to present you something that you will definitely love. It's Opera GX Browser, which is the sponsor of today's video. I've never seen a browser that allows users to customize their experience as much as Opera GX does. You can choose one of various special themes, wallpapers and colors, or you can even prepare everything from scratch and upload your own background photos. And if that's not enough for you, you can pick one of the many animated wallpapers from Opera add-ons. You ever found it difficult to watch videos while doing something? something else on your PC? Well, Opera GX has a solution for you. While watching a video, just click this button and the video will split up from your browser. Now you can do anything you want and watch a video at the same time. You can also play music from your favorite platforms directly from the sidebar without searching for it every time. The music will stop as soon as you play something else in your browser, which makes it pretty convenient. I know that switching browsers is hard, but with Opera GX, it's never been easier. Import everything you need from your previous browser in just a few clicks. Seriously, it's even faster than the anime time skip. Use my link below to download Opera GX now and you'll even get the exclusive feature that allows you to see my latest uploaded videos in your GX corner. Thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. And now let's continue. Luffy also has claim over the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, a massive fleet consisting of seven powerful New World crews numbering 5,600 people in total, who all swore to serve under him and will come to assist him whenever he may need them. He officially became an emperor after defeating the previous emperor, Kaido, now recognized as one of the four most powerful pirates in the world. Luffy's raisin status caused a panic around the world, currently holding a bounty of 3 billion bellies, which surpasses the current bounty of the Emperor Blackbeard and equals the bounties of two of his fellow members from the worst generation, Kid and Law. His bounty is only surpassed by the bounties of the former Emperor's Whitebeard, Big Mom, Kaido, fellow Emperor Shanks, and the late Pirate King Gold D. Roger himself. Luffy has exhibited his threat most notably by invading all three of the world government's main strongholds in Paradise. He defeated at least a thousand marines on Eni's lobby by himself and took out two CP9 agents, with the invasion ultimately resulting in the destruction of Eni's lobby via Buster Call. He infiltrated the Great Prison, impelled down, and orchestrated the only mass breakout in its history. And he also invaded Marineford during the Summit War of Marineford and greatly aided the Whitebeard Pirates in their ultimately unsuccessful effort to rescue Port Gestiace from execution. Luffy has also significantly threatened the balance of the Three Great Powers by defeating three members of the Seven Warlords of the Sea, Crocodile, Gecko Maria, and Don Quixote do Flamingo. He also allied with two others, which caused Jinbei to defect from his position in Trafalgar Law to lose his. The world government also views Luffy to be a grave threat, simply because he's the son of Monkey D. Dragon, the leader of the Revolutionary Army. Despite his ever-growing list of accomplishments in battle, Luffy continues to be frequently underestimated by opponents due to his appearance and disposition. This oftentimes has ultimately proved to be an advantage for him, as it gives him leeway towards options opponents would not expect. Crocodile left Luffy for dead twice, only for Luffy to recover from his defeats and ultimately claim victory in their third match. Don Quixote do Flamingo attempted to trap Luffy in the Corita Coliseum, expecting that he would fall victim in it, only for Luffy to escape and win over the gladiators there to his side. What we're trying to say is, don't underestimate Luffy. Currently, in the New World, he is contended with the four Emperor's top commanders, having defeated Big Bomb Pirate's sweet commanders Charlotte Crackers and Charlotte Katakuri, and he seeks to aim further by taking down the Emperors themselves as well as the Marine Admirals. Number 2. Nami Cat burglar Nami is the navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates. She's the third member of the crew and the second to join, doing so during the Orangetown arc. She's also the adoptive sister of Nico after the two were orphaned and taken in by Belmarie. She was formerly a member of the Arlong Pirates and initially joined the Straw Hats so that she could rob them in order to buy back her village from Arlong. 
However, she legitimately joined the Straw Hats after they rebelled against and defeated Arlung. Her dream is to make a map of the entire world. She first gained a bounty of 16 million bellies for the incident at Annie's lobby and currently has a bounty of 66 million bellies. Being the assigned navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates, Nami is responsible for evaluating the direction that the ship goes as they sail further into the sea. Nami also tends to act as the crew's de facto treasurer, managing the crew's money and allocating spending whenever they arrive at a new location. Besides Sanji, the crew's trained chef, Nami is also the only crew member known to possess even basic cooking knowledge. She also possesses a strong enough willpower to be able to withstand the burst at Big Mom's Haushoku Haki. Number 3. Sanji Sanji is one of the crew's top three fighters along with Luffy and Zoro, and is considered to be a member of the monster trio of the Straw Hats due to his great strength. He currently has the third highest bounty in the crew after Luffy and Jinbei. Sanji usually fights relying solely on his pure might and skills without any weapons or devil fruits in combat. As a member of the infamous Vinsmoke family, Sanji was raised and trained from an early age alongside the rest of his siblings in warfare and combat. Their father modified them while their mother was still pregnant in order to endow them with superhuman abilities. However, due to Sora's own attempt at ensuring her sons would keep their emotions, she used a counter drug, and Sanji's genetic modifications were repressed. Therefore, he was born a normal human. Because of this, Sanji couldn't keep up with the extremely grueling Germa training, resulting in his father's renouncement of him. However, he ended up encountering Zeph, a pirate captain turned chef who'd teach him his own kick-based martial art. After joining the Straw Hat Pirates, he could defeat fishmen like Kurobi, powerful assassins like Mr. Two, and mighty CP9 agents like Jabra. As a result, he's earned a bounty of 77 million bellies before entering the New World. Since returning from his training in the Kamabaka Kingdom and entering the New World, Sanji's strength has grown exponentially, and he's become an even more powerful combatant, able to fight against some of the strongest pirates and fighters there are. After the two-year time skip, he was able to break the stronger-than-steel neck of a pacifista with a single Diabelle Jambe enhanced kick. In contrast, his leg would have been seriously injured after using the attack on a pacifista pre-time skip. Against Charlotte Oven, Sanji could break his collarbone with a simple kick while moving too fast for his eyes to follow. This is really impressive since Oven is gifted with the sturdiest body of all the Charlotte Sons. During the raid on Onigashima, he and Marco could hold off two All-Stars of the Beast Pirates, King and Queen, while buying enough time for Zoro to recover. Afterwards, Sanji could hold his own against and temporarily overwhelm Queen, a hand-picked top henchman of the Emperor Kaido, and an ancient Zoan-type devil fruit user with a bounty of 1,320,000,000 bellies. After wearing the red suit multiple times, Sanji's latent genetic modifications were awakened during the same battle, which allowed him to fight against the All-Star on a more equal level and finally defeat him using a powerful combination of kicks. Number 4. Usopp Usopp is the sniper of the Straw Hat Pirates. He's the fourth member of the crew and the third to join, doing so at the end of the Syrup Village arc. While not on the same level as the rest of his crew when it comes to pure physical might, Usopp has learned to compensate for his weaknesses by focusing on his own strengths. Usopp's endurance and willpower is considerably strong, being able to take serious damage from powerful enemy attacks. After a major battle, Usopp tends to have severe injuries, often caused by his determination to reach his goal. And even with those injuries, he'll attempt to continue fighting. Prominent examples of his incredible durability can be observed when Usopp was hit in the face by Mr. Four's four-ton bat and smashed repeatedly through walls by Miss Merry Christmas. He not only survived these attacks, but was able to continue fighting. Also, during the Water 7 arc, he endured physical abuse from the Frankie family twice while trying to retrieve the stolen money. In Thriller Bark, Usopp was tough enough to withstand the detonation of Perona's exploding ghost multiple times, and a ruthless beating from Kumashi without losing consciousness. Usopp has also managed to awaken his Kenbun Shoku Haki during the latter half of the Dress Rosa Revolt, and he was able to see auras of Luffy, Law, and Sugar, who were in the Royal Palace. With this, he was able to pinpoint Sugar's location and snipe her down from a long distance. Number 5. Zoro Zoro has devoted his life to becoming a powerful swordsman and fighter, and in his time as a bounty hunter and later the combatant of the Straw Hat Pirates, he has become extremely well-renowned for his exemplary abilities and accomplishments in battle. By the time he met Luffy, Zoro had established himself as a fearsome bounty hunter in the East Blue, so much so that Kobe had heard he was a demon in the form of a man. His accomplishments in hunting pirates were significant enough to earn him the epithet of Pirate Hunter, which he remains known by even after becoming a pirate. When Zoro dueled Dracula Mihawk, his former partners were completely confident that he would win due to his dominance over East Blue opponents. However, Zoro was utterly outclassed by Mihawk, a warlord of the sea from the Grand Line. Since that defeat, he promised to never lose a battle again. 
Alongside Luffy and Sanji, Zoro is considered to be one of the monster trio of the Straw Hats due to his strength. Zoro's infamy has frequently been treated as second only to his captain, and in some instances he has even been mistaken as the leader of the Straw Hats due to his more extensive reputation. Zoro was the second Straw Hat member to receive a bounty, and for much of the crew's existence, his bounty had been the second highest and is currently at 320 million bellies. Weaker people have been shown to be easily intimidated by Zoro, as Kobe remarked that he had a demonic aura at Shellstown, even when he was tied up and starved to food for over a week. This is held true even in the New World, as when Monet came to suddenly realize the degree of power and killing intent Zoro had, she froze in place as Zoro charged her. After Zoro intentionally performed a harmless attack, she then became seized by fear to such a degree that she was unable to reform her Lokia body to its normal state. When Zoro gets serious in a battle, he usually dons his black bandana on his head, though whether or not it had any real effect on his abilities is uncertain. Ever since entering the New World, he has rarely ever been wounded or given a serious challenge. His first genuine challenge challenge was a short confrontation with one of the admirals, Isho, who described his slash attack as ferocious despite being held down by gravitational force. As the first showcase of his greatly improved strength and skills, Zoro defeated Pika, one of the Don Quixote do Flamingo's top three executive officers. He did this in a couple of moves after slicing apart his colossal stone body and figuring out the nature of his devil fruit abilities. Zoro suffered his first serious wound in Wano against Kamazo, albeit because he avoided a surprise assault from Gyukimaru, while still managing to defeat the Manslayer using a single attack. During the raid on Onigashima, he faced off against the Emperor Kaido, famed as the world's strongest creature in both his beast and hybrid forms, wounding him despite the tremendous toughness of his body. Number 6. Tony Tony Chopper Typically, it's rare for doctors to fulfill roles other than medical practices, but as the Straw Hat Pirate's doctor, Chopper's responsibilities are not limited to just medicine alone. He occasionally performs tasks like steering the ship as their unofficial helmsman while on the going merry. Also, during the heat of battle, he can fulfill the role of a physical fighter to support his friends. However, due in part to his lack of battle experience or formal training, Chopper was originally considered part of the weakling trio, along with Nami and Usopp. This is largely due to his lack of battle intuition and naivety at the same time. Time, though it's shown that he's gotten much more capable after his two years of training on Torino King. During the whole Cake Island arc, Chopper showed great tactical skills yet again in the middle of his confrontation with Charlotte Brule as he and Carrot came up with a method to deceive her using a decoy. He pretended to remain restrained by chains in his heavy point, and when Carrot toppled the soup towards Brule, Chopper used the element of surprise by changing into Brain Point to break free, before using Monster Point, subjugating the crocodile homie and wiping out the remaining enemies. Number 7. Jinbei. As the second captain of the Sun Pirates, Jinbei is an extremely powerful pirate and a former member of the Seven Warlords of the Sea, with high authority and respect over his subordinates. It's stated that Jinbei was able to battle Porcus the Ace on equal terms, despite Ace possessing Logia powers. They both nearly killed each other in a five day long fight just before Ace was taken in by Whitebeard. His power and influence are so great that him departing from one of the four emperors organization would severely diminish their crew's overall strength. Even CP9 agents commented on his strength and believed he was capable of killing who's who, a former CP9 agent and one of the strongest Shinuchi of the Beast Pirates. He was the first and only fishman to become a warlord, with a considerable bounty of 250 million bellies reflecting the danger the world government believes he possesses. After his resignation from the Seven Warlords, participation in Impel Down's first ever mass breakout, and the Summit War of Marine Ford, it was raised to 438 million bellies. Jinbei also has a very acute sense of danger, as he refused to spin Big Mom's roulette after sensing murderous malice from the roulette. It's later confirmed by Pedro and Berlay that the roulette had been rigged to ensure death to anyone who spun it. Jinbei is also able to completely suppress any emotions of fear, which renders him immune to Big Mom's ability to take away a person's lifespan. Number 8. Nico Robin At a young age, Robin acquired a bounty of 79 million bellies for having the ability to read poneglyphs, which told of the Void Sentry. Her ability to read the poneglyphs is by far her most valuable quality, and the world government considers her a huge threat because of this. This has also made her a vital target for those who understand the significance of the poneglyphs, mainly for those who want to gain control of the ancient weapons and the means to find laugh tales, including the likes of Kaido and Big Mom. Due to her having to spend her life on the run from multiple organizations, mostly the Marines and the world government, Robin had developed into a strong and resourceful woman. After two years of training with the Revolutionary Army, Robin has grown more stronger in every way. Sanji, one of the strongest members of the Straw Hat Pirates, was willing to call for Robin's help when he was trapped by Black Maria, despite knowing that she was the Beast Pirate's target. 
showing he has complete confidence in Robin's abilities. His faith was proven to be well-placed when Robin defeated Black Maria. Number 9. Frankie As a member of the Straw Hat Pirates, Frankie is a competent and powerful crewmate as well as a valuable asset for the crew. Being their official shipwright, Frankie is in charge of maintaining the Thousand Sunnies' condition, along with the other vehicles, instruments, or weapons that the Straw Hats may employ. After completing his studies on Katakuri Island over the course of two years and returning to his crew, Frankie's considerable fighting skills have increased greatly, in tandem with his engineering abilities. Frankie, while piloting the General Frankie, was able to easily defeat the giant squid fishman Ikaros Much, knock the artificially produced ancient giant, and emerge victorious over Baby Five and Buffalo, without his mech suffering anything more than a simple puncture wound. Even after enduring an extended beating to his upgraded cyborg body, Frankie retained enough strength to overpower Senior Pink, an assassin in the Don Quixote Pirates. It was only against Sasaki, an ancient Zoan-type devil fruit user with a bounty of 472 million bellies, that the Iron Pirate received some serious damage, although Frankie was able to land a conclusive attack after a lengthy battle. Additionally, Frankie has considerable skills in playing a guitar. Number 10. Brooke as much as Brooke normally goofs around on the ship engaging in acts of silliness with Luffy, he's still a formidable opponent. Due to his previous experience and skills that he amassed from the days when the Pirate King Goldie Roger was still active, Brooke, in all respects, is a veteran pirate. When he first met the Straw Hats, he quickly proved to be a very valuable person to them, most notably during their encounters with Thriller Bark's many undead inhabitants. After the time skip, Brooke's overall skills have proven to be a very important asset during battle as he defeated the energy steroid-powered Zeo with no difficulty and cut down Giola of the Don Quixote Pirates. When fighting to reclaim the Thousand Sunny, he and Tony Tony Chopper battled and defeated several of Big Mom's chess soldiers. This earned them praise from Charlotte Katakuri, one of Big Mom's suite commanders. He also got the idea to store the copies of Big Mom's poneglyphs inside his head before she captured him. He also disguised himself as a clone of Luffy to take advantage of the chaos when Luffy crashed Big Mom's tea party, and he destroyed Big Mom's portrait of Carmel without being noticed. Same as some of the other crew members we covered so far, Brooke was shown to have a strong willpower, as he was able to withstand a burst at Big Mom's Haushoku Haki. Number 11. Nefertari Vivi as a princess, Vivi has a great deal of authority in her country, as well as natural skill in diplomacy. When meeting the Straw Hats, she managed to persuade Zoro and Nami into protecting her from the Baroque Works agents after her cover was blown, and even persuaded Nami not to charge her for their protection. When traveling with the Straw Hats, she even showed an impressive and almost comedic amount of skill in keeping the more childish members of the crew focused, calm, and motivated during their travels together. Since leaving the Straw Hats, she seems to have managed to maintain her role as a princess, all the while successfully keeping both her past as a Baroque's work agent and a companion of a pirate crew secret from the Marines and the world government. 